thank you very much. Uh, first of all, uh, I would like to say sorry because uh, it seems I'm two hours late. <laughs> Normally in school, actually, I'm never that late. But given the uh, flight this morning from Charlottesville and the connecting flight from Atlanta, uh, just uh, got delayed one after another. Uh, I, for your, maybe if it uh, gives you any consolation, I also sat in the, plan, uh, the plane uh, in Atlanta uh, for nearly an hour, actually. It just uh, simply refused to take off. Um, actually, at this special meeting, uh, one elderly Tibetan, you know, we follow lunar calendar. Uh, we believe in all this uh, 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 calculation that we have to do to prevent certain days or not. And uh, this man uh, uh, suggested that I better follow the lunar calendar properly because normally he noticed that I travel and I have events on uh, not so good days, actually. Mm -hmm. I got a lunar calendar. And I just said uh, half jokingly, seriously, I said, normally I, uh, you know, uh, because given the schedule and, you know, things like that, I just uh, go by the events and the uh, wherever necessary to go. I, do, I, tr I don't follow the lunar, lunar calendar, except I try to avoid traveling on Thursdays, because which my mother told me is not a good day for me. <laughs> but then I left Dharamsala this time on Thursday, and I was thinking maybe this time will be different. But so it happened that uh, in uh, New York there was some confusion. I had an event there. And in Atlanta there was one confusion. And here I am today. So Thursday is proving to be bad, actually. <laughs> so I'll be happy to report to my mother that she is right. And I will not uh, you know, uh, make the mistake again. So hopefully uh, uh, you will understand. Uh, now, I'm asked to speak uh, generally on situation in Tibet and about the dialogue prospect and, uh, and answer your questions. I'll try to make it quick so that we can have uh, more time for questions because now I have to rush to another event and all the events are delayed now. Now, there are, I think, four or 500 Tibetans waiting. So quickly, um, now as far as uh, the dialogue is concerned, if you have Googled or done research, our invoice or the special invoice of His Holiness Dalai Lama met with the Chinese counterpart nine times since 2002 to January 2010. So uh, like we are meeting here, uh, uh, the invoice of the Dalai Lama and the Chinese counterpart, mainly the uh, officials uh, of the United Front, uh, Tungdambu, uh, they met nine times and have had rounds of discussion. Um, and then uh, we were asked to define what do we mean by middle way. Uh, in short, the middle way means to seek genuine autonomy within China and within the framework of the Chinese constitution. Uh, now we were asked to provide in detail. And then uh, in 2008 and 10, um, uh, you know, we provided the definition of genuine autonomy um, and then submit, uh, submitted the report uh, to the Chinese government or the uh, Chinese counterpart. And then uh, further queries were made and accordingly a note explaining the uh, genuine autonomy was also uh, submitted to the Chinese government. So it's all you can Google, it's all there. Um, and then essentially, as I said, genuine autonomy uh, means to uh, the middle way, essentially means genuine autonomy within China and within the framework of the Chinese constitution. Thereby, uh, uh, we are not challenging China's sovereignty and territorial integrity. Um, unfortunately, uh, in the January uh, 2010 was the last meeting between envoys of the Dalai Lama and the Chinese counterpart. Uh, and till June of uh, this year, for two and a half years, uh, there were no meetings at all. And then the two envoys concluded uh, 
that uh, there is lack of reciprocity from the Chinese government side and uh, they submitted their resignations. Actually, last April only, uh, the envoy, special envoy, Lodi Gary, uh, you know, uh, shared his intention uh, to leave the post uh, given the lack of progress um, as far as the dialogue was concerned. But I requested that he stay on and make uh, another uh, effort, uh, which uh, he did, and uh, Kesa Genzel also did. And we met 12 times, um, sometimes shortly, but sometimes at length, discussing the prospect for meeting with the Chinese counterpart. Uh, but then for two years, from January 2010 to uh, June of uh, 2012, uh, no progress. And then they submitted their resignation out of utter frustration because, and the reasons they gave were, uh, the massive uprising of protests in Tibet in 2008. In 100 different counties of Tibet, there were protests. Since then, it has gotten worse. Now, with increasing cases of self immolations 54 so far, of which 43 have died. Now, given the circumstances, they felt that, you know, uh, uh, they should uh, submit their resignation. And the Kasha, we accepted uh, their resignation with regrets. Um, but then, we continue to reiterate middle way uh, policy. Uh, with the hope that um, the Chinese government will be more uh, rational uh, and then enter into dialogue to solve the issue of Tibet peacefully. And if you read that uh, document, uh, the last paragraph clearly says uh, that uh, Tibetan leadership uh, still uh, believes that the middle way is the right way and also uh, the dialogue is the only way to solve the issue of Tibet. And we are ready to enter into dialogue and also ready to appoint uh, envoys uh, for, for that. So this is where we are. Now currently, the uh, situation inside Tibet is uh, uh, really tragic with increasing cases of self immolations Now imagine, uh, we all know life is precious, but now 54 Tibetans uh, have burned themselves, you know, put gas or petrol over their body and burned themselves. That is the level of uh, frustration, that is the level of repression that uh, uh, Tibetans are choosing to die than live. Now, if you, uh, there, we made a uh, 30 minutes docu documentary and it's also available on Tibet.net. You will find that of these 54, uh, except for one who uh, was 64 years old, almost all of them were below the age of 60, which means in 1951, Tibet was occupied. Now it's been 60 plus years since the occupation of Tibet, meaning these Tibetans, they grew up under Chinese political system, education system, economic system, and they, they are what we called the uh, socially paradise generation. When Red Army first moved into, invaded Tibet, they promised soci uh, socially paradise. But then after now, nearly 60 years, you know, the uh, uh, protests of various forms, including self-immolations, clearly indicate that Tibetans are not satisfied, not content with the present arrangement. In fact, they feel repressed and they're choosing to die. Um, and then there is uh, no freedom of speech for Tibetans uh, in Tibet because if you organize any protest um, or hunger strike or even paste a poster, uh, you are likely to be arrested and often tortured and disappear. Um, so these are the reasons why Tibetans are choosing to uh, protest. And as far as Tibetan administration is concerned, we have issued statements uh, repeatedly uh, urging Tibetans inside Tibet not to resort to drastic actions, including self-immolations. So we not only 
not encourage, in fact, we discourage uh, self emulations. But as a Buddhist, uh, any Tibet, when any Tibetan dies, we pray for them. So we organize you know, uh, prayers. And as a Tibetan, uh, we show solidarity uh, because uh, uh, they're doing it, the protesting or self immolations for Tibetan Tibetan people. So we do support their aspirations. Uh, the aspirations being self, uh, self emulators have clearly uh, made their voices very clear. They want to see the return of His Holiness Dalai Lama to Tibet and uh, freedom for Tibetan people. So we, we support uh, the aspiration. So this is the uh, stand of the Tibetan administration. Now, uh, next month, uh, on uh, November 8th, I think the 18th party Congress will convene and there will be changes in the leadership uh, with Xi, Xi Jinping as the president and Li Keqing as the prime minister and others uh, to be. Many say there will be seven uh, members in the standing uh, committee of the Politburo. Uh, we remain hopeful that the new leadership will have new perspective on the issue of Tibet and then hopefully uh, you know, uh, they will try to address and resolve the issue of Tibet peacefully. We remain hopeful. But given our 50 years of experience, we are not that optimistic because uh, uh, the last 50 years, except for a brief period in uh, 80s, the hardline uh, policies uh, uh, has been repeated uh, in Tibet till date. Um, at the moment, the uh, situation in Tibet is very tense. Uh, I think just yesterday, uh, the uh, one of the agencies of the U.S. government uh, issued a report uh, on Tibet where they clearly uh, concluded that with the increasing repression of Tibetan people, uh, there was a parallel development of self-immolations. Uh, so we do believe uh, that the occupation and repression are the main reasons why uh, there are self-immolations. And the Chinese go government ought to review uh, the hardline policies because it has failed, not just failed, failed miserably. Uh, so we remain hopeful, but not that optimistic um, for dialogue. Um, but then uh, after the 18th Party Congress, and most likely uh, uh, March next year, when the National People's Co Congress will convene, when the seven or the nine leaders will, uh, will come out, uh, with their uh, designation, we might have some hints as to what might happen. But uh, even though the Chinese party leadership is uh, not yet officially confirmed, but as far as Tibet is concerned, at least two key personnel uh, is already settled. The uh, uh, minister for the United Front uh, is uh, Ling Chi Hua. Uh, some of you might know. Uh, News media accounts uh, indicate that uh, he was a right-hand man uh, of Hu Jintao for some time. Um, but then his son had an incident, I believe. He passed away, uh, driving around Ferrari. And somehow, some accounts say he was demoted. Some say he was promoted. But uh, uh, he is the minister uh, of the United Front, which uh, deals with Tibet. And the deputy minister also, uh, it's also settled. So according to me, uh, news media accounts, they're from the Tunpai or faction or the uh, Youth League faction. Um, so we have Xi Jinping as the uh, next president, who is from Tai Zita or the uh, Prince Ling faction. And then now we, ha we are waiting to see who will be the chairman of uh, the National People Political Consultative Conference because the process is the United Front reports to the chairman and chairman takes it to the standing committee of the Politburo. Um, in that sense, uh, some say that the present party secretary of uh, uh, Chongqing, uh, Zhang Tiejiang, will be the uh, chairman of National People Political Party Conference and he's, some say he's liberal leaning, some say he's not. But then uh, we have to see uh, 
uh, how it unfolds. And uh, Xi Jinping, at least Xi Jinping's father, Xi Zhongchun, had uh, uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, connection with Tibet uh, because uh, he was uh, uh, one of the key members uh, who received his solidest Dalai Lama and Pension Lama, late Pension Lama in 1954. And uh, uh, till uh, the late Pension Lama passed away, uh, Xi Jinping's father and late Pension Lama were quite close. Uh, so there's some connection as well. But then, uh, uh, so we believed when Hu Jintao became the president of China, because he worked in Tibet for at least uh, Tibet Autonomous Region for three years as the party secretary, though he didn't stay there for long. But we felt at that time that, well, if, uh, you know, uh, uh, if a leader wants to take a bold decision, at least he or she has to be fully informed. And among the Chinese uh, leaders, actually, Hu Jintao had hands-on experience as far as Tibet uh, is concerned. But then, now after nearly 10 years, uh, we uh, are yet to see uh, as, uh, uh, much progress uh, as far as Tibet is concerned. In fact, the situation has gotten worse. So this is where we are. I'm sorry to say that uh, uh, I can't conclude it in a more optimistic note, but uh, facts are facts. This is where we are. Thank you very much, and I'm happy to answer if you have any questions.